Hello, in this tutorial we're going to use the chart to create a pie chart based on a SharePoint list. So the first thing we're going to do is hit the drop down and choose edit this chart. And we can select a SharePoint list that could be in the current site or it could be in a different site. And if it's in a different site we can go through and select the different site radio button and click on to configure source and basically step through selecting our web application, selecting the site collection and selecting the site that contains the lists. So as we, uh, as we do that, we'll then be uh, provided with uh, a number of lists that we can connect to. What we're going to do is select a list with inside the current site. So I can basically connect to the current site here and from the drop down there for choose the list that I want to base the chart upon. And we can also select the view. Now it's sometimes uh, possible to create your own custom view so that you can get all of the columns that you want to use with inside your chart with inside the single SharePoint list. So I've created one called task progress which I'm going to go through and select and we can view the data that's coming back so we've got the number of different tasks and the percentage complete whether they're completed or not um, and we can use that information uh, with inside our chart. So as we step through it I'm basically going to go through and select the task name and we'll also show the percentage complete column. So that shows me the uh, column chart based on that information. But instead of doing that, then what I want to do is actually group the data here. And we'll go through and group it um, based on the percentage complete. And because we're grouping on that, we're going to perform an aggregate function on the task name, which would be count. So uh, as we now hit apply, we can see how many tasks we've got at each level. Uh, a column chart isn't best well suited to that environment. So what we'll do is uh, go through. We could select something like the funnel chart so we can see how many tasks are uh, not yet started, how many tasks are in progress and how many are completed. Um, or we could also show that as a, as a pie chart as well. So we have a number of different options available to us uh, for that. So uh, as we go through, uh, once more, we could have um, a chart title, hit apply. Uh, we can change the cosmetics and so on as we did before. Um, we can also allow a, a drill down if we wanted to, as you've seen in other videos, um, or we can basically click on to finish and have our finished pie chart on the page. Okay, so that was how to build a chart based on a SharePoint list. Um, and we've uh, selected a pie chart which we haven't used yet at all on this page. So uh, we have the different types of charts, uh, the ones that we can drill down into, the multi-series charts. And we've also got the pie chart now uh, where we can go through and highlight um, different segments of the pie chart if we wanted to explain them as well just by simply clicking into the chart here.